All right, I'm going to start making some videos that uh, uh, get kids prepared for the ACT. And we're going to start with the pre-algebra section, and um, I'll probably make a video in each section and then go on. So, so the, I have three problems that we're going to do. How I would do this is you try the problem, stop the video when you see the problem, try it, and then watch my explanation. Um, so... Uh, here we go. So we're going to do operations on integers, absolute value, ratio, proportions, and percents. To kind of show you just generally, I made these problems up myself, but they're, they're the basic problems that are on an ACT for pre-algebra. So your first problem, here it is. Um, and just to kind of move this up a little bit so we have it. And so you've got uh, that problem right there. So stop the video, see if you can do it. So how I would do this is uh, I would start, I'd use my, these are absolute values right here. And so I would start inside the parentheses, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS. So you start with parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication, division, things like that. So you start with the, right here, the 1 minus 4. So that becomes 3 minus 1 minus 4. Uh, and so 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Then your next step, so we've got the rest of it here, and it's negative 1. Well, 3 minus a negative 3 is 3 plus 3. So that would be 6. So the absolute value of 6 over negative 1 you only do the absolute value at the very end. So then 6 divided by negative 1 is negative 6. I'm going to move up here into my empty space. So we've got the absolute value of negative 6. Well, if you don't remember what absolute value is, uh, it is the distance from 0 on a number line. So negative 6 has a distance of 6 from 0 on the number line. So that might not have been how you were taught it, but that's what it is. So the answer is positive 6, so B. Okay, let's try another one. What is 6% of 1,100? Again, pause the video, give it a shot, and then try it out. All right, so percent. So 6, the word percent. Well, percent means per century. So per means to divide, or this symbol if you like. So this century means 100. So divide by 100. So if you took 6%, we need to convert that to um, a decimal, which would be 0 0.06 of, typically in mathematics, means to multiply. 1,100. Now you're allowed a calculator, so you could uh, quickly multiply those with a calculator on the ACT, and your answer is 66. Um, so that's the, the quick way to do that, and maybe you've never been taught percents as division by 100, but, but if you take 6 divided by 100, you get the 0.06. You were probably taught to move the decimal left or move the decimal right, and you forgot which direction to move it. If you remember the word percent, and it means per century, uh, you will always get that right. So 6 divided by 100. All right, third question, third and final question. So 12 thingamabobs cost $27. What does 3 thingamabobs cost? Okay, so again, pause the video. Give it a shot. See what you come up with. So this one, I think, is uh, can be done really good if you if you think of it as a proportion or a ratio. So I'm going to do thingamabobs over price. Okay, and just stay with that ratio. So if I know I have, there's lots of other ways to do this, but 12 thingamabobs out of 27 dollars. And what is three thingamabobs? What do they cost? So my cost would be x. 
And then you can quickly uh, cross multiply and divide. So 12x equals 81. And then you would divide by 12. And there's lots of tricks to do this. But uh, basically what I was doing was getting common denominators or cross multiplying to do this really quickly. And so it's 81 divided by 12, which is 675. It'd be 6.75. Um, another way to do this is uh, you've got uh, tw 12 thingamabobs, $27. Um, you could divide, uh, since we want to know three, what three thingamabobs are. This helps you kind of do this quickly. 12 divided by 3 is 4 groups. So if it's 27 divided by 4. Uh, that's I know logically that's how some people would do it. Uh, so, But I think this one, especially since you have a calculator, is probably the one that most kids learn right away. And in terms of, if, once you set it up with things over dollars, then you cross multiply, you'll have it. So, hopefully this helps, and uh, I'll see you next time.